the North American coyote, the smaller cousin of the wolf. We spotted him quite close to the road when we were driving along and this first bit of video is shot from through the window of the car because they're very uh, skittish animal. If you get out, most of the time they take off like they've been shot out of a gun. And we've seen a few of them on our travels around British Columbia before, but they were always at a distance and they were always going full bore, just running for basically their lives. Coyotes have gotten a bad rap, not because they've encroached on humans, but because humans have encroached on their territory. Which means that there are conflicts, and it doesn't matter if it's in uh, Los Angeles, Vancouver, Toronto, coyotes are urbanized. And as such, because they're hunters, they're a predator, they will take small cats and dogs in urban areas. People leave all garbage, they come in scrounging for that, anything. But he's looking. I love encountering nature like this, and to be able to be so close to a coyote was just something really special for me. And this guy looks so defenseless, helpless. The coyote. And he's having problems walking in the snow because you could see that he was breaking through on it. And that would be tiring. It would also probably hurt his paws. He's looking for food, mouse, anything. He's not threatening. He's not menacing. He's doing what he was put on this planet to do. Survive. Looking, smelling, and listening. And for the most part, coyotes do not take larger creatures for their uh, food, especially when they're alone like this. They would eat mice and other small rodents, things that might be of harm to humans or even carry diseases. I mean, you know, you've heard of the tick mouse and all these different things that you can get from uh, uh, mice, diseases. And the other thing that was really cool while we were filming this is that uh, we're pulled over to the side of the road and by this time I had gotten out to get these shots. But we had pulled over to the side of the road and you can hear traffic zipping by us and most of the people I'm sure were oblivious to what's out there. And it's such an amazing thing that you can still find nature if you're looking for it or if or maybe if you're just connected to it because this happens with us all the time no matter where we go we come across wildlife in amazing nature situations because I was outside the vehicle he was taking a little bit more interest in me and uh, starting to back off but even then his hunger takes over and as, he, as he's going away, he's still sniffing, smelling, because you got to realize these things are not pets. They're not out there. There's nobody out there feeding them. they got to find something to eat or they will not survive. And uh, whether it's a small mouse or a chipmunk or a squirrel, whatever, a bird, anything, they got to find something to eat to survive. And I just find it really... Uh, really sad that because of their survival instinct there are so many people that dislike the coyotes and even I can say that I had a favorite Siamese cat and he was uh, taken by coyotes and I'm pretty sure of that but I still have no animosity to the animals because they're just doing what they were put on this earth to do but when people go out and when they see one even at a great distance and they got these high-powered rifles and shoot them for no particular reason. Well, that, I don't think that's what we were put on this planet to do. And you don't see this often. Sometimes the temperature uh, out here in British Columbia can drop down to minus 30, minus 40 degrees. And they could have survived that. They could have survived everything. His coat looks good, 
but he still looks like he's quite weak and uh, he's not going to use much energy everywhere he's walking looking he, he's looking for that little morsel that little snack that little mouse And today we find need to manage these animals. As a matter of fact, the wolves are coming back in the Okanagan, so they're talking about hunting them. They're hunting wolves in Alberta, in Alaska, in Wyoming. They want to hunt the wolves. Imagine that for tens of thousands of years, all these animals survived without man managing them. Nature has been doing a wonderful job managing itself. And now, if we start taking out things like even the coyote, well, then you're going to have a lot of rodents, and it just, we create a mess. So this was a real special treat, seeing this coyote this close. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.